what's going on everybody it's your boy biggs from the ny warriors i'm just here doing a quick little this is not going to be a full like basement tour because the basement's not fully done yet but what i did complete was the storage of my comics and i want to first give a big shout out to the classic collector on instagram i've been following him for maybe about three years now and he does these awesome custom uh cabinets all sizes, all shapes, all colors, solid wood, handmade. Look at his page. It's going to be linked in the description below. Uh, he just, this guy does unbelievable work. And um, for years, I've always said, oh, I want to get these for my books. I want to get these for my books. And finally, I was able to um, order a few of them. Um, these two here, as you can see, those are the regular comic book uh, cabinets, um, which I had got those first. I got them when I first moved into this house and then... Recently, I picked up, um, I had to make uh, a slab one for my slabs also. Uh, we'll go over them real quick. I, I don't show you the whole basement because, to be honest, behind me, it is a mess. A uh, slew of boxes and just a bunch of junk. I'm going to give you a quick little turn. As you can see, it's just not ready, but this part is ready. So we're going to go here. Um, let's just start here for first what's on the statue. What's on the, on here? The statue's on here. So this is the Mandalorian premium format from Sideshow. As you can see, this is a big piece, but these are solid wood and they they hold a ton of weight. Um, so I was able to display my Mandalorian statue there from Sideshow. And then this one is, this one is from, um, I think it's from Diamond, Diamond Select, but it's also resin, just a nice bus. I put it next to it. And then we're gonna go over the, the slab cabinet. So this is the slab cabinet, guys. Three drawers. Each drawer holds uh, between 35 and 40 slabs. It depends on the thickness of the slab and also depends whether it's CBCS or CGC. As you know, CBCS slabs are thinner. You know, they're a little thinner than the CGC ones. But um, yeah, 35 to 40, I think is pretty decent. Let's open the drawer so you guys can see. So here I got all my signatures, most of my signature series books. As you can see, they're all there, lined up. They fit perfectly there. Give you a quick little peek there. What's going on? You know, as you can see, they're done by solid wood. Um, you know, 35 to 40 slabs is a lot of weight, and he uses the thick, the big metal brackets. So... They're nice and sturdy. They slide in nice. And then you have like this little window there that you could put a slab there to display. Of course, I chose, you know, my Superman 204 signed by Jim Lee and my Batman 608 second printing signed by Jim Lee. So, you know, because I like the way they look side by side. And then here you have some a couple of spawns. There you got a 98 there. You got the second gunslinger 98. Uh, that's my wife's book right there. Just a Walking Dead, Wizard World, 98. Uh, first Michonne in a 90. Batman Beyond, 94. Batman Beyond, 94. Uh, Batman 251, 65. Uh, Batman 232, first Ra's Al Ghul in 8.0. You got uh, Batman 227 in a 40. You got uh, Batman 189, first Silver Age Scarecrow in the 8.0. And what else is here? Batman 181, White Pages 6.5, first Poison Ivory. Uh, what else here? Batman 155 in the 5.5, uh, first Silver Age Penguin. And of course, you got my uh, Batman 121 5.0, first Mr. Freeze. And I think this can be a 6.0 possible. One day I'll get it uh, cracked and graded, you know, cracked, repressed, and then regraded. Uh, there goes my Star Wars slabs here. Get a few there. First Revan, 9.4, first Revan, I mean 9.6, first Revan, 9.4. Darth Maul, fifth print, I mean Darth Vader, fifth printing. Dr. Afra, Dr. Afra. Then what we have here. Oh, here we have tons of tons of DC. So, uh, First Silver Age Toy Man. Uh, that's this book right here is probably, if not my favorite, my favorite book in the collection is why I started doing the auctions. 
back, you know, six years ago because I was paying off this book. This is Superman's Power Jimmy Olsen, number one from 1954. Super rare, very rare hard book to find. I've probably, in the seven, eight plus years that I've been part of the community, I've only probably seen two, and I, and I ended up getting one of the two I saw. You know, so that. Uh, Justice League 21, you see that one's a 5.5. Five. I've been putting up for sale my 5.0. Uh, yeah. Teen Titans, George Perez. Yeah, so just tons of books, guys, you know. Um, then these are here, the, this is the, the comics. As you can see this right here, this one is two drawers. Um, you know, two, it's two, two stacked high drawers. Each drawer, I would say, holds about 200 comic books. So a standard short box holds about 150 books. These drawers are bigger than a short box, but not as long as a long box. So I figure about 200 books total. I haven't really counted, but as you can see, these are how it goes. Same thing as those slab cabinet. You can put books there so you can see it in front of the window. And then you have that. You got some of my Spawn books there. Uh, this drawer is mainly Star Wars. Actually, I got two drawers full of Star Wars. This one's all, all Star Wars. As you can see. All right? And then that's... You can tell uh, the cabinet's pretty big because this right here, this TV, this is a 65-inch Samsung OLED TV. And you can see it fits there perfectly. You know, so we're gonna move it along to the last cabinet, which is another cabinet for raw books up here, you guys. See, you got my Father's Day gift there. That's the premium format Darth Vader. You know, I don't have it plugged in right now, but the lightsaber lights up and all the buttons in there. Light. This is my wife's drawer right here. This is all The Walking Dead. And the entire drawer is The Walking Dead, guys. I don't have the whole series, but I do have most of them. I'm still missing that number one. Then again, just more random books, some variants, some Superman, Silver Age, Golden Age. Yeah, just a little bit of everything. Everything's pretty tight right there. This this drawer is pretty full. And uh, next to it, I have two cabinets, two uh, display shelves. I just built them. Uh, shout out to my nephew, Big Fetty. He helped me build them. And the, you see that second one there? Um, I have not put anything on it yet. And this one's kind of like a little mixed up, a little bit of everything. Um, it's not going to be the final way I'm going to store everything. I just, you know, some of the stuff that I didn't have boxes for, I put them up already. That's an original He-Man there, an original Skeletor. And the cool about these cabinets is that you step on them right here. And they have three levels of lights. They light up. This one also. Step on the thing. There you go. So they're gonna look good once once I I finalize what I'm gonna put on it. Yeah. So that's it, guys. That's the whole layout right there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, once I finish the entire basement, I'll do a traditional basement tour and show you everything, guys. And um, that's it, guys. Until next time. Peace.